Presenting your business proposal to your CFO has been the graveyard of uh, many innovative uh, business proposals, commercial proposals, and uh, sadly one or two careers over the years. Uh, so it can be an incredibly disappointing experience if you've spent days, weeks, or even months uh, creating your proposal, walking it through all the committees, getting it reviewed by the finance analysts, maybe even developing an MVP of your final solution. And yet you fall at the final hurdle and uh, egg on your face, your boss isn't too pleased, and uh, the organisation has lost your proposal um, and all the benefits it could have um, achieved from that. So um, many people sometimes wonder is, well, could they have done a better job of the presentation? That probably is where all the efforts in is. Uh, uh, is it in PowerPoint or should it be more dynamic? Should it have been a more interesting um, uh, version of developing and um, pitching that up to the CFO? Um, that's probably way over complicating what's going wrong because basically um, the root cause is simple. Um, your CFO just doesn't believe your commercial case. Either the um, financial benefits to the P&L um, appear unbelievable, overstated, or aren't at all clear how they're going to be realised, and or um, the investment case uh, is weak, or sorry, um, weak in the sense that uh, the spending uh, it may appear to have, uh, may go out of control. So people may believe in the benefits, but um, it may take longer and a lot more effort to build what you have in mind. Um, and uh, the costs keep going up, but no benefits come in. And uh, CFO, who is uh, relatively experienced, has seen uh, lots of uh, deaf propositions over the years uh, and uh, would prefer not to have one on their watch. So what can you do about it? Um, well, it's relatively straightforward. Let's think of an example. Let's say you're um, in a service business and you've got a proposal for, say, um, RPA robots. Um, sounds great. Um, massive savings can be made. Um, they what cost eight to twelve thousand um, dollars to employ a robot that might do the work of one to sixty people, uh, and maybe cost somewhere between ten to sixty thousand um, dollars to deliver in terms of training the robot. What's there not to like? Well, the simplest uh, flaw of all of that are uh, probably two is in. If nobody is actually um, leaving the building or getting removed from the headcount, then there will be no actual cash savings um, to the P&L. And um, the number of times CFOs have been bluffed um, early in their careers from people talking about uh, cost avoidance uh, and uh, all sorts of uh, theological benefits, um, mysterious ones, they are very practical people. If nobody's actually um, leaving a service business off the head count, the budget count, then no savings will be made. Or um, you might have them in somebody's budget, but if it's not very clear how those people are going to be identified and moved off the payroll uh, or to another area, um, your CFO will be very sceptical. So uh, what can you do? I guess um, the simplest way is probably um, if you're interested in this topic and want to beef up your proposal, maybe just have a um, direct message me and uh, we can have a quick five, 10 minute conversation on the various areas of the commercial case uh, that's uh, a week and how you can strengthen those. Uh, and either uh, be set up for a second go, if you're that lucky, or um, avoiding getting egg over your face in the first place.